Hey guys, how are you doing? In this video, I want to talk about the SHA-256 algorithm. The reason why I want to discuss this is because it's a very important and central topic. And now that you know that we'll be building our own blockchain, our own smart contracts and our own uh, NFT trading platforms, uh, it's very important that before I show you all the code, before I start showing you how to actually build it, you understand some concepts. And so there are about uh, seven, eight concepts that I want to share with you like this in, in videos like these so that you understand these really well before we even start uh, implementing all those things that I talked about. All right. So <clears throat> the SHA-256 algorithm is central to blockchain. And all that you read about blockchains like storing hashes and nonces and miners, miners trying to solve the cryptographic puzzles, right? So all of these concepts, they all revolve around the SHA-256 algorithm. It's safe to say that without SHA-256, you probably wouldn't even have the blockchain. It's, it's that central, right? So this algorithm, what it does is that, uh, this is the algorithm, right? So what it does is it takes the data to be encrypted and it uses um, characters between A to Z and takes uh, numbers between one to nine. And all these characters will be small caps, not, not large caps, A to Z, small caps. Uh, small caps characters and one to nine numbers and it'll create a 64 uh, character output for you. It'll, that'll be called as a hash. All right. Now this <clears throat> might not make a lot of sense to you, right? But um, I'll, I'll show you how it looks like in real life. But uh, for, for now, just try and focus on this. All right. Now, uh, what I the important thing that I want to share with you is that uh, because of these combinations, right? These different combinations, 64 is to 36 will be the uh, will be the dif dis different distinct results that you can get from uh, the SHA-256 algorithm. Now, 64 is to 36; those are a lot of results, right? And this means that we will probably never repeat a hash again. Now, um, just remember this: that we will probably never repeat a hash. Now, this is a very important uh, concept and very important setting point. So, just remember that. So, now let's take a look at what the algorithm looks like. Now, just to show you what the algorithm looks like um, and visualize it. I have found a project for you on GitHub and it shows us the different hash algorithms and we can visualize them. So here I've selected SSA 256 and then we can let's start uh, you know, using it. If I put just one character, right, if I just put A like this, I still get a 64 um, character hash, right? But if I put the whole text like this, let's say I put a lot of text, let me select from here. And still I get a 64 uh, character hash. Isn't that extremely interesting, right? Because even if you put just one character, you get 64 bit, uh, 64 characters. And if you put a whole lot of paragraph, a big paragraph, even then you get 64 characters. So that's how basically you um, represent the information using an SSC 256 hash. Now, uh, there's one very important thing that I want to show you, right? Extremely important, so just pay attention. If I just put uh, just take a take a look at this number first. Take a look at this hash first. It's 53. It starts with 53, ends with 60. All right. These are the first two digits are 53, last two are 60. Now, even if I put just one little digit here, or one little character here, let's say I put W. Now the complete hash has changed, right? So if I put one more uh, character, just one more character, the complete hash changes. If I put just space, the complete hash changes, right? So it's completely unpredictable and just adding one um, character changes the entire hash completely. So this makes it extremely difficult to hack and this makes it very, very secure. You have to remember this. So you remember uh, the last point that I told you that you'll probably never repeat a hash. And the second thing is that you change one character changes the entire hash, right? So these two are really, really important points that you need to remember. Now. <clears throat> For, for this, for any algorithm to be, uh, for any hash to be SHA-256, right? There are six different things that need to, needs to be uh, doing properly. So the first point is that it needs to be one way. I'll explain all of this to you. The second thing is it needs to be deterministic. Deterministic. It, this, all this won't make any sense to you right now, but I'll explain everything to you, right? So the third thing is that it needs to have fast computation. And uh, the fourth thing is that it needs, uh, it needs to have an avalanche effect. And the fifth thing is that it needs to withstand collision. I'm not sure if the spelling of collision are correct. Not 
yeah it's giving me suggestions so if if the hash does these five things only then it's an sha256 hash only then it's considered to be a proper hash one way what does that mean one way means that once you take the data and you create a hash there is no way you can take the hash and go back to this data there is just no way to do it so that's why it's just one way right there's only one way but there are like all the other hashes like many more other hashes there are usually two way right you can take the hash and you can get some data out right like the rsa algorithm and all those but with this sha256 you you can't do that it's just one way you can't like take this hash and get some data out of it it's it's, it's impossible basically second deterministic what does that mean that means that if you write r here and you get some data now you refresh this whole thing then you write r again you'll get the exact same hash so just take a note of this starts with 8c 8c2 and ends with 41ac and now let's say uh, you know you refresh it and put the r again imagine you can see this 8c2 and then 41ac it's the exact same hash exact same hash there's no difference right so whenever you put r whenever you uh, put r or s or whatever every time you put it you'll get the same exact hash so it's deterministic so whatever data you'll put you'll get the exact same thing the next time as well so it's deterministic right fast computation that makes sense right it has to be fast uh, as you can see it's really fast right as soon as you put the uh, character you get the data here so it's fast computation avalanche effect right this is the most important point uh, the last two points are the most important points of the sh256 now i have this text i create i just put one digit it changes the entire um, hash so this is called as the avalanche effect so that's why i told you to remember it because this is really really important so uh, and please remember it because in the next videos that i'll show you about blockchain this concept is going to be very central right this is the whole crux of why blockchain is very important right how we store hashes and previous hashes and nonsense all of that i'm going to explain all of that to you but for that you need to remember this that you have something called as the avalanche effect in uh, sh256 please like print it print this in your brain because this is you you're going to have to uh, you know use blockchains and then once then you'll you'll see this in effect you'll see this happening and then you won't understand why it's happening it's because of the sh256 algorithm right that's why i teach this before i even talk about the blockchain all right so this is very important concept so i changed i just put one more digit and entire hash changes just imagine right just one more digit i'm uh, putting and the entire hash changes you can also try this out on your own you can uh, you know uh, go to google and search for the sh256 algorithm uh, visualizer or something like that and then you'll find it and then uh, imagine just one character and just changing the whole thing so that's what that's why it's called as the avalanche because avalanche starts the small snow small snowball and it just uh, turns into a whole big avalanche all right i hope that's clear now which stand collision is the last thing that I, the second last thing that i told you to uh, remember about which was uh, that uh, there's so many different combinations right 64 raised to 36 and you'll probably never repeat the hash again so that's called as um, with standing collision like they won't it won't repeat basically all right so these are the five things um, that are critical to sh256 you have to remember uh, the last two at least and um, that's this is going to become come, this is going to come very very handy uh, in your knowledge of blockchain and i hope um, you know i was able to explain it properly to you uh, so in the next videos you will start to see more and more advanced concepts and all of and i'll build up all these concepts for you and then uh, at the end we'll have like the complete lecture that that's coming up uh, the co the course content for that is ready right uh, i'll show you how to code the whole uh, blockchain but before that you need to understand all of this so uh, thank you for watching and do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video.